Hello, my name is Count Wavenstein and I am going to do a walk round and exploration of the Waste Ones some in Second Life. As a matter of fact, it's not just one some, it's quite a number of them joined together. It's absolutely fucking huge. As usual, um, the walking will be done by the delectable Fiona who never tires, never gets injured and never gets killed when she falls off high places or meets with various other kinds of misfortune Um, so this is uh, a post-apocalyptic styled sim and I think someone might actually have been shooting at me. Again, uh, I'm not too concerned about that because of Fiona's immortality, but uh, still not particularly desirable. Yeah, it was definitely what we bullets. Some really cool building work here. Beautiful texturing. And what I always love in Second Life Sims is attention to detail and the detail in here is Pretty magnificent. So you can see the Mad Max style desolation, smashed buildings. Um, Wrecked infrastructure. Dysfunctional power lines. And what have we got? Well, someone seems to be trying to scratch a living in there. It doesn't look like this will give them a great deal of shelter, unfortunately. Windmills. Someone trying to Generate electricity, possibly. Certainly some kind of energy production going on there. Rolling up here. Again, this looks very mud, Max like, it looks like someone has been collecting trophies which seem to be car tyres with the remains of human heads stuffed into them. Presumably because uh, the uh, trophy collector is told said human.
Rot. Fürstens. Ich habe Big TV von mir. From a family car, the um, what would they have to come from a dungeon much bigger? No, uh, point of a crash data point. into some uh, you know larger infrastructure here. Yeah. We can see this is a very big sum of uh, probably not to get room to all of it. So I haven't found any explanation to why all this destruction's happened, whether it was a nuclear war or whether it was a climate catastrophe or what. What the hell is that? Oh. So about as far as I go. Oh. Too tall to get any further. Or rather, Fiona is. This looks like one of those old gasometers she used to get uh, and put in everywhere in the old days. The old days meaning um, 1970s, 80s, I remember them when I was a kid. And they were used to store gas, which I believe came from the North Sea. Now we tend to import all our energy from elsewhere. Uh -huh. One of the sad things about living in Britain is we don't actually make anything anymore. Except bombs. Other than that, we just buy everything from China. Whoa. There we go, if that had been myself trying to do that in real life, I would have just possibly been looking at a broken ankle and been cut to ribbons by that fence. Now let's see if there's any clues to who built this place. Hmm. 
Uno. Un. 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 And a very skilled builder at that. Does someone? That looks a bit reminiscent of the Thunderdome and Mad Max. Hopefully, I can come in here without having to. Fight anyone to the death to live. Because one thing, Fiona is not good in spite of her uh, acrobatic prowess as fighting, I do not have any fighting odds for her. Um, and as you can see she's a nerd, not a not a fighter. This is beautiful. That is so intricately detailed. Someone is really still rising in. There's even more. Someone has really pulled out all the stops here. Crow, this one. Bumps, face, eh? That's a creator I've come across before. Creates a lot of cool, um, like retro technology and stuff, or kind of industrial tech. Um, as, so, this is obviously a team effort. There are a lot of people who seem to be involved in building here. When you think about it, that makes sense. I mean, if I zoom out here, um, one, two, three, four, five, half a dozen sums at least joined together. I mean, that's uh, that's not cheap. The um, sum that we keep for a Yona Five City. That is a single sum and it costs us between us about 250 US dollars a month. So this is not an inconsequential amount of financing that goes into this and it is not an inconsequential amount of work either. Someone has really spent a phenomenal amount of effort on this. No, I can't find the entrance way to get in here. I must have... Ah! This looks like a control panel from a power station. No, 
unless I'm very much mistaken. Um, yes, definitely. Russian. I think I know the builder of this uh, actually of uh, Crow. Hmm. I actually have a replica of control room four at Chernobyl in our own sim, which is very, very similar to this. That is the power they're generating. Doesn't look like a terribly clean signal, though. Seems to be quite a lot of amplitude fluctuations in it. over here, this looks quite interesting. there at some point. No. Hmm. I think I see a way in. Let's see if there's a way up. Yeah, stairs. because I cannot see shit. No, I have no idea who that is.
Whatever this was, it's long since wrecked now. Well, that could be a clue to what happened here. But, oh well, no, it's not. No, it looks a bit like it, but it's not for a radiation hazard signal. Ah, uh, what's that? Stupid shithole. Even though it does seem the people who live here are in very desperate straits. That's the edge, that's the sea. One of the quirks of Second Life is that the camera, um, the chase camera looks down from above the avatar's head and it gives a skewed perspective on the size of things and also creates that annoying effect where you end up looking or trying to look through a ceiling or a wall a lot of the time. No, I think I've been talking and walking for long enough for anyone watching this to get the idea of this place. Before I stop, I just want to have a quick overhead fly. Assuming when this rises, it's going to be lava. Which again, Fiona is utterly impervious to. In actual fact, she might not sink into it because even in its liquid state, apparently. Liquid magma is far more dense than a human body and far heavier. That might only apply if you're lying down, though, she might well sink into standing up because, after all, pressure does equal force over area. And wearing stiletto heels, that's worth bearing down in a small area.
So this is the other side of that ravine where I started off. Probably really shouldn't be flying around like this, it's bad form because it's an immersion breaker but it would take a very long time to actually walk around this place. But it is beautiful and I wanted to, at the very least, have a quick scan round all of it. I never specifically said that flying was forbidden, so hopefully no one will take offence. But what is what we've got? Let's see how far I can pull out. No, that's as far as it goes. Let's see if I can see anything in the big map. So that, um, in the bottom right here, that is a single sum. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. Twelve of them. Um, that's quite amazing. I mean, two hundred fifty dollars a pop for these places. Multiply by twelve. That's three thousand dollars a month. ones over here. Another 
We'll avoid contact with her because this is used as a combat sim and I can really do it without getting shot or getting my head kicked in. what the Karuni blue light is all about. Something radioactive maybe. Oh, something getting ready for Halloween. Well anyway, fantastic sim, beautifully built, absolutely massive, and definitely no effort spared in the production, very very impressive indeed. That's probably what's over half an hour now, that's a good time for me to quit yapping and caught a dick.